I'm back. So, I'm guessing I have to save regardless. No, oh, no, I can hit cancel. I don't know why I was thinking I was forced to do it. I thought I was done with you guys. You weird, weird things, you. <laughs> I could be mean and say, who are you? Technically, most of them do look, al look alike. Not the stereotype or anything. That's all you wanted to tell me? Okay. I realize in order to activate half of these statues, or actually be able to land at them, you actually have to go up and press A. Real interesting. Yep. Right to the sky. Yeah, I'll be back here. I'll probably... On my other save file, look for some bugs or whatever. Just for the heck of it. Alright, might as well go here first. To the temple. I've got the hang of flying a lot better now. Let's see. Yeah, this is it. Big giant goddess statue. Hopefully I can do half this stuff a lot faster now. Because it literally did take me like over an hour of just bumbling around looking for stuff. But that's because I was just confused. What's this second save file might be good? It could be good for like scouting ahead. I could be like Nintendo Capri Sun and just have practice files. But. Yeah, we'll see. Well, I saw it in that cutscene. You don't need to tell me that. Mm, yeah, probably buy an iron shield. Because the next area is going to be, f like, f full of fire. Or lava, whatever you want to call it. This cutscene is going to start as soon as I get kind of out here. Hey! Kukil, is that how you say it? Wow, creepy lady. This is like a creepy face. Oh. What perfect timing. You haven't seen my Kukil, have you? No. I've been off doing important stuff. And that's all. They didn't do anything about it? They saw her with a strange person? Nothing? Okay. What's your husband doing? Okay, but I want money. Standing there shouting isn't going to help. Actually... Go ahead and buy it, because it doesn't matter. I'm on a different file anyhow. Iron shield's available. What you can do is you can dump off your stuff to this lady right here, this kind of depressed looking woman. Hates her job. So, the other safe file, I dumped off my uh, ugh, wooden shield here. You are 
really creeping me out, dude. Sure. Actually, it's not good against electricity, though. That's what the wooden shield would be for. <laughs> Whoa! All oh, right, I've seen this guy last time. It's just been so long. No, get away from me! This is the guy where you upgrade your um, equipment by the stuff you've collected. I can't upgrade this until I get. Um, certain items from the next area. Where's that plot? Okay, it's down there. Where's that little girl's house? The last time I was running all over the place trying to find it. Yep, this is it. You know it's funny? You can sleep in other people's beds. I didn't realize that the first time. I thought you had to go back to your own room. Nope, you can sleep in other people's beds. Or should I? Yeah, I should probably do this first. I'm not sure if it... If I have to talk to these people to get it to activate. But I'll do it anyway, just in case. And there's her dad up there. That guy up here and the other woman are husband and wife. I would have never known. <laughs> her parents are like really weird looking. Huh. You don't seem to be worried, though. <laughs> yep, I did. This is kind of a dumb idea. To have a ship like that. We have to ring the bell and climb up to get it. Like, why? Why can't it be on the ground? Well, I'm not a businessman, so I don't know. And the graveyard is over here. I'm definitely trolling around town. Not really. Well, oh, excuse me. Not everyone else isn't acting like it's a big deal, so, so why should I? This is where they're talking about. Actually, I did find a sky beetle. Stag beetle, whatever that was, like that thing. The first time we were, came down here and that little boy had us run into the tree. I think it was the same tree I got it from. Someone tells us about the old man in the pumpkin place. I suppose I can go there now. I don't think I have to talk to anyone. Got that marked. 
I actually missed that last time. I didn't pay attention to it. I don't know where the third one is. Did I mark the beacon? No, I didn't. That's why I can't see it. Oh, yeah, I did. Worst. 300. Hey, why can't I tell anyone? Why is that a secret? I could have sworn there was a... Where is the third one? Oh, wait, I didn't see it, because the third one is like a... It was an extra adventure pouch is what I had. Oh wait, maybe this was it. There's, oh, there's two of them on the same island. Yeah, there you go. I didn't realize that. Both of them were on the same island. I didn't do the, si the little run and get that guy's soup in this one. This file. Oh. Eh, whatever. You didn't try hard enough. And Skylove Monster? I say I will, just so you'll tell me stuff. crazy old man. Any regular person would have lived long enough to scream. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell ya. This great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night, and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree, and the gravestone lit up. It pushed the gravestone, and the door to the storage shed opened up all by itself. The monster then went to the shed, and then it closed the door behind itself, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. The most terrifying thing these old eyes have seen. You'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Or what I'm not going to do. Steer clear of it. Skyloft is easy to spot. Because it is a big island, or the biggest one that I know of so far. Can I 
pitch. In there, I probably will. Right, so the best place is the graveyard. Well, I've got to make it nighttime. Someone's bed. I think. Ah, oh, let me just go over here safe. <laughs> Until night. I'm assuming and sleeping will heal you up. See, I just crashed on someone else's bed. You can even do it while they're sitting in the house. So... Yeah. <laughs> See, they saw me sleeping in their, their house and they didn't do anything. And they all sleep in the same bed? Well, I mean, the child doesn't have her own bed. That's... odd. Yep. Those enemies are running around here. Where's that graveyard? Crazy cat things. Flip completely unnecessary. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I didn't think they would, they would let me do that, but okay. Well, I can see where the graveyard is. Oh, there it is. I would never do that when I can't find it. Suspicious at all. Uh oh. Trouble. I did that last time, too. Jumping on the door. Oh, I just saw her. So you're the demon. All right, buddy. You want to fight? Bring it on. Stop, please. I beg of you, don't hurt me. Wow. Then why'd you scream at me? The scream as loud as you can game? What kind of game is that? Is that a fun game? Oh, dear. Perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Bat Rooks. Uh, no, I'm calling you Batman. I can't pronounce that. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let up loose a blood curling stream at the sight of me. She began to visit me here, and I felt positively jubilant. You see, my 
Parch only wishes to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it has been proven difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear of the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw of friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. Well, you could trim those fingernails. <clears throat> it seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal that sounds gross. No, 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 I, well, I guess the wings would get in the way, and the horns. Sure, because they give me stuff. Yeah, you just told me that. I think you did. Joy. Hi. He's not a bad man. He saved me one time when I almost fell over the edge. And he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. He said it was dangerous to go out alone at night, so I hang here for a while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. Boy, how did you get here in the daytime? Because you've been missing. You were missing in the daytime. So, whatever. I'll just go back and tell her parents, even though they didn't really look for her. Hmm, it didn't take stamina to climb a ladder. For some reason. This house was somewhere. Not there. cat thing. <laughs> yes, I did. Well, he is friendly and responsible, I suppose. sleep from night until night again. Oh well. Just to make sure she's back in the house. And there you go. Somehow I was Uncle Bats. Yeah, let's just call him that. Let me just run back and talk to him. He'll give us... No, wait. I gotta talk to her again. Crap. I just realized I didn't get my gratitude crystals. Uh. So, how do they have... married people time if... they all sleep in the same bed? Just curious. Plus, they do it when she's out playing, but still. Uh, and 
take as long as I thought. 25 minutes. Last time it was like an hour and 15. I don't know how that happened. Go oh, away, stupid cat. Let me to throw you off the edge. I just want to show you the thing he gives you. I also bought a another adventure pouch from Beetle, and then bought uh, another wallet spot. So I think in total I could carry 1,100 rupees. Medium wallet. 500 plus 300. Well, whatever. Anyway. That should do it. Yep, that should do it. So next time, I will be ready to go to Elden. On my other save file.